nice and noisy down here at the harbour today, but I brought you down to Whitstable Harbour in the rain to explore. <laughs> it's Friday today and I will be releasing this video on Sunday and unfortunately I think I won't be having a walk this weekend because of Storm Dennis, which is extremely sad, but also from a safety point of view, I won't be able to take a group into the woods in 60 mile an hour winds kind of an obvious one really but it still makes me a bit sad that I won't be getting outside this weekend for a walk and that's the second weekend in a row anyway moving on as you can see from this title the title of this video um, is about geocaching and I've done a geocaching walk before in London so I'll put a link somewhere here to uh, my London exploration geocaching day but today I'm giving it a go around Whitstable and there's quite a few geocaches around so let's go and see if we can find some As you will see, I found the geocache right here. Oh, there's a car coming. You can't be seen to be uh, to be geocaching. Otherwise, these uh, these human beings um, that aren't in the know, that aren't in the geocaching know, uh, are called muggles. So if they see what you're doing, they might suspect that you. Uh, I don't know, that they just want to ruin the day basically. So you can't let anybody see what you're doing, even though I'm just making a little video. So underneath this post, this is a massive giveaway and a massive reveal if you wanted to try and find this geocache yourself. It's called Wits About You. This is really busy in the summer, so it would be quite hard to find or not necessarily find, but look, uh, try not to look so suspicious when you're looking uh, down there at the bottom of the post. So that's my first one. That was quite good fun. Let's go and try and find some others. Now the sun's come out, that is beautiful and great news, but in other not so good news is I'm stood right beside this tree where there is another geocache somewhere and I can't find it. And uh, I don't wanna hang around and look too strange like jumping in this tree, which is covered in ivy. So I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes looking around it um, to see if I can find it. But if I can't, then I'm gonna have to move on, which is a bit of a shame. So we'll see what happens. it behind my back so no one sees i don't know why i find this so exciting this is really cool i had to do a bit of uh as you can see i had to do a little bit of wrestling with the tree and um yeah i found it it's a bit it's a bit it was a bit hidden but you know it's much better that it was like that and uh not obvious uh, because it probably would have fallen out of the tree and then uh, be lost forever so that's geocache number two i'm gonna move on now to another geocache which is just down the road and uh, yeah I think that might be my last one I'm really really excited to find all these geocaches in Whitstable so who knows there's a lot more out there I might make a part two of this video Oh, hey. Oops, if it's stuck. Oh, I'm gonna get this stuck. Let's chuck it around that way. There you go. 
Oh, that's a cool little pot, isn't it? Nice, let's open it. So I've just opened it and quite often in the geocache, if there's enough space, people will put little um, prizes, I guess, so you can take away something. And then the idea is that you're also supposed to leave something. So let's see what this is. Oh, the girl guides and a hairband. And what else? What else? Oh, a bracelet. Or a necklace that I've now dropped in the mud. 10p. And what's this? Another girl guide badge. Well done, girl guides. I haven't actually got anything to leave apart from obviously a bit of money or something. So I'm going to have to think of something to bring with me for these geocaches in the future. And then you're also supposed to write your name on this, but I write my name online. You can do it online as well, so I don't have a pen. I'm going to chuck that back in there. And then I'm going to hide it again. Oh, it's fun, isn't it? I just hide that back there. Oh, no, I remember it didn't go through that hole, Hannah. I'll put it back there so people can find it. Not that suspicious. Check no one's seen me. Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> I, I did know what I was going to say and then the knocking put me off I've got to uh, keep an eye out so people don't come along here and think what is she doing in the alleyway on her own under the danger of death sign it's all very dangerous down this alleyway anyway thank you for joining me for this video three geocaches in Whitstable so there's plenty more out there and I will go and explore more on another day um, this is a great way of getting out even in an urban area uh, when the weather's not great or you don't want to walk that far and you just want to you know go and explore so I definitely recommend it I'll put details down below of like the official geocaching website and you download the app and then it helps you to find and navigate your way to all these beautiful geocaches and it'll take you places that you never thought you would go and your hands will go into places that you never thought they would go so uh, thank you very much for joining me and i would love it if you could subscribe subscribe to this channel if i could even say that and also if you want to check out another geocaching video i'll put a link down in the description so you can go watch that as well thanks a lot everybody have a great weekend and i'll see you very soon